Hello everyone, welcome back in my Yelp Camping React tutorial. In this video we are going to add reviews to our application. So we are going to add new Mongoose schema and make it related to the main gym schema. We will add review form in our React application, validate it and add necessary routes in our backend to allow user to add or delete a review. First thing I'm going to do is to check out the new branch. Same for the backend. So okay, now I'm going to start the backend and PM run dev. Here we are going to start our front end. PM start. Okay, so we have a uh, application running. Let's go to gyms. Right. So in the backend folder, in models, I'm going to add a new review. So new file. Build.js. I need to import Mongoose. So const schema equals mongoose.schema and I'm just going to call our schema a review schema and that equals to instance of new schema and in the object we want to specify two prod this one will be the text so that will be our body this will be a string and the other thing is rating and that is going to be a number okay just like that the only thing we need on the bottom is to export it so export default mongoose.model parentheses and first argument is how we want to name it and as a second argument we are passing our review schema okay now we want the reviews sort of uh, belong to the to the gyms so i will add them in our gym schema so it's gonna be plural reviews and an array right because maybe we can have 20 different reviews and what we are storing here, we are going to store ID of the review, okay? So to do that in Mongo, we basically do schema dot types dot object ID and we have to specify a reference. So reference would be review. So this should be whatever you placed in this model over here. Okay. Next thing is to make a form in user interface. So I'm in screens show over here. Okay. So that will be separated JSX element. So I just like to have things separated. I'm going to call it review form and it will be a function that will return a react fragment with h2 inside saying leave a review. Okay. And I want to place it inside our row. This diff is taking six out of 12 grid pieces. So I'm going to remove the, well, Let's check how it's looking first. Okay, that's our show page. So remove the offset. And let's create another column that takes six pieces. Okay, so it will be here. Okay, and here I'm going to place review form. Save. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't return this. Alright. Okay, so let's add the actual form. We will use React final form again. I don't remember the syntax. So we have forming new. We'll just copy this from new screen all the way here without the fields. And I'm just going to paste it over here. <clears throat> and we have to find out the brackets and parentheses that we have to close. So here we have to close the render method uh, and the form and also the return over here okay on submit it's going to be on review submit we don't have that function so let's create it we we'll definitely have values now let's grab one of the fields from here that's what developers do Control c Control v i'm going to paste it in here inside the form instead of title will be rating just capital letter here We don't need validation over here. And this class we don't need either. Last name will be just for control. Type would be range. And I'm going to add minimal minimal and maximum value. Minimum one and maximum five. Okay, no validation diff. This is just range component. Save. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's looking awful. I think we're missing some class name. It should be form range. Okay. And then we need text area for the re actual review underneath. So let's copy that too. Uh, here we have description from the new gym form. Okay. Do the second field over. Uh, yeah, we want to use actually this validator so. Let's import it. So I'm just going to import everything as validators from helpers folder, validators.js, and I'm going to go back to our des uh, description field and I'm going to change description for body. And just in the label, instead of body, I will call it a review. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit small though. Uh, so in text area, rows three, rows maybe four. Okay, much better. So we need button on on the bottom. So, just a div inside the div button with classes button button success. Okay, and it will say add review. Save it. Okay.
Okay, and now I want it to be disabled if we didn't put the review. So here I'm going to say disabled. If invalid, right? We're getting invalid from React Funnel form over here. So now if I don't put review, I'm not able to submit it. Before I go and create the new route, I'm going to check what kind of object are we creating when we submitting this review form. On review submit and I'm just going to define payload that is going to have review inside and review is going to an object with spreaded values inside. And then let's cancel the log. Okay, save and let's check it out. Inspect the page, go to the console. So I'm gonna give it rating of 4 and actual review will be This is fantastic gym. Okay. So we have an object. Inside the object we have review object with rating and the body. We also will need this ID, but uh, we will be will include it in the route, and then we can destructure that on the backend. Okay. Now we can go and create the route. So that will be in the backend in the main app JS. It will definitely be a post request. I'm just going to copy and paste this one and change it for app.post. Here we will add slash reviews. So catch async, we definitely need a gym. So find by ID and we are using the ID from the route. Next we have to create the new review. So that would be request.body and we are sending review object itself so review. I don't know what happened here. Then on that gym object on the reviews array we have to push the new review. Now let's save both of them. So review.save and gym.save and we should await both of them. And we are sending back the gym, so let's test it from the front end side. Uh, yeah, maybe let's just submit the same form, just change the rating for 5 and... Okay, we didn't write the call at all. <laughs> okay, so let's basically copy this call. And it will be post. Here I think it's reviews. Like that. Okay, and in post request second argument is a payload. And instead of navigating, let's just console.log the data. Let's test it out. So again, we put number five. Amazing. Add review. Hmm. So we are getting 500. Something went wrong. Review is not defined. So payload is looking how it should be looking like. Okay, well, we didn't import the review here. Let's try again then. Uh, okay, and we have response. 
and we have reviews array now and we can see our re review i don't know if you guys can see maybe I zoom in a little bit so this this is our response gym object and in the reviews we have first element of the array amazing five stars and underscore id that was added by mongoose so we are validating forum on the front end uh, this range element will always have a value and if you don't put uh, the body of the review you won't be able to submit but just in case we are going to validate the review on the backend as well and that would be through joy schema so in the joy schema we just export another schema for the review so we uh, joy object and that would contain rating and rating is a number joy dot number execute and is required as well so minimum value is one the maximum value is five and for the body it's a string so joy dot string parenthesis and is required okay ah parenthesis here and also entire review object is required over here now let's import in our app js review schema and same as we have validated gym middleware we want to write a function that will validate the review request response next so review schema dot validate entire body of the request we, we are going to pass uh, similar like here we only want error from that part so this structure the error we are going to do ex actually exactly the same thing right check for errors join them on the message and throw new express error over here else just pass to the next okay and that should run before before the route so validate review just like this okay so for the time being let's unprotect our front end over here I'm just going to remove this validator over here okay so now I'm able to submit empty form let's see what happens okay we get 400 review the rating is re required perfect ah rating hang on actually So React final form doesn't get the default value from here, so we better cover that case. Just shoot out here default value 3. Okay. 
same case scenario. Let's refresh the page. Okay, I'm not touching anything. Add review. And now it should say that the body is required, and that's okay. So our backend validation is working perfectly. Just in case, let's add valid review. Okay. Now we send entire object and we get the right response. That is the gym with the IDs of the review. Before I forget, I will put back the validation, but not on this. It was on the body here. Okay. So now we can't submit the form if we don't put the actual review. So next thing that we are going to do is to display the reviews uh, probably over here underneath the actual form. So starting from the backend side in our app.js uh, we have this route that we're just getting the gym and that is the end point that is being hit by the, our show page over here. Okay. So on that route, all we should do is to populate reviews. Okay, save. And now let's refresh the page. Let's see what we are getting. So that's our call. Okay, and now we have entire object over here. So we can just loop over reviews and display them over here. So let's go to our show page. Okay, we have form, so maybe above the form we will define review list. So we got gym, there is reviews array on it, so we want to map over it. And for each review, we are going to return a diff. With class margin bottom free and with class card from Bootstrap. Okay, inside this we have div with card body. Then h file that is a card title. And that would be rate thing. And the rating would be on review, not rating. And this is how we are going to display it. And underneath just paragraph with cart text class, it's going to be a review colon review dot battery. Okay, now let's get this list and place it somewhere in the website. So here we have the form and I'm going to display the review list underneath. Okay, let's check it out. Hmm. Okay, it's, we are not returning this. If we change it just for fantasies, it should work. Okay, let's see. It's a little bit too close to the form, preview form, so 
we have to fix that. I will just add here last name margin bottom free. Okay, that's better. But I think if we go to the gym that doesn't have any reviews, now we are going to have an idol. No, we don't. Okay, let's try to add one then. Solid equipment. Hmm. Okay. We added the review, but it's not displayed. We probably need to refresh the page and then it appears over here. I... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this function. I'm going to use function declaration like this because I want to use it above in the in the code as well in the use effect so if you know how hoisting is working it's moving the functions declaration to the top so it doesn't has to be declared before being used okay so let's make a function like this and in the use effect i'm just going to execute that and I'm going to do the same after we submit the review. We make post request. If status is 200, we are going to do the same thing. Like this. Okay, let's save it. Okay. Refresh the page. Each child should have key property. That's probably in the review list. Okay, let's say index just to get rid of the warning. So key is equal to that index. Okay. Now I have a refresh, I should have a okay. So very pro. Great, now the review is appearing immediately and also we're getting uh, the form cleaned up. And, and the last thing we want to add is probably delete button on the review for user to have possibility to re delete the review that has been submitted. So this time let's uh, start from the backend side, from the route. That would be just... Uh, get route so app.get slash reviews slash review id like this and then we don't need to even validate it catch async okay let's get rid of everything over here we don't need it so we want to remove the id of the review from the gym so it's gym dot find by id and update this one so first we have to pass id of the gym so it would be request dot params dot id yeah so we're taking this id over here and then We have to write this weird config object with pool operator. So pull from the reviews array. This should be with a column over here. Request params dot review ID like this. Okay, and that should remove that ID from reviews array okay and next we have to actually uh, 
delete the actual review. One by by ID and delete over this, and all we gotta pass is this ID over here. Okay. Let's jump to our front end on the show page in the review list over here. So we have title, text. Okay, so probably underneath here will be button with a class name button, button. Uh, this is another class, so. Like that, and it will be danger, red one. Let's say delete on the button. Okay, let's save it, let's check how it looks like. Okay. That's what we wanted. And keep in mind that on this review object over here, we have underscore ID from Mongo. And this is what we are going to use. So, uh, on click event, that would be a callback because we have to pass parameter to the function. So, on review delete, we don't have that function yet. I'm gonna write it right after, and it would be review dot underscore id. All right, and close the brackets. Now we have to write this function. Okay, on delete click, probably over here is, here is a good idea, it's a function that takes, um, that takes ID from the review, this one should be also async and it should be awaited like that. Uh, so here we will await and we need to write a new access call. So access dot get string template literal over here. Absolutely completely similar to this one. And the only difference is that we have to add another slash dollar sign brackets and place the ID of the review over here. Okay, so this ID should arrive over here as a review ID. Okay. Okay, so we are waiting it. If nothing goes wrong, maybe we can write the same thing as here. So here it's then okay, save. Let's let's try to test it now. Okay, I have this rating for review solid equipment. Delete oh no. Let's see what was wrong. Gym is not defined. What? Oh yeah. Okay, so let's just set status. That's 200. And then send review deleted. Okay, just like that. try again. The previous call worked as well, it just we did, just didn't get the right response. So now, rating free reviews, so delete, perfect. I'm going to uh, test it a little more. This is a very long review. Like 
like this. Okay. So everything is working. We are validating the review. Uh, we have default value of 3. User can change it between 1 and 5. We have validation on the backend. We are displaying the reviews. We are able to delete reviews. Uh, the only edge case scenario is what happened with the review with the reviews if I delete the gym. We don't want to store them in the database. Although you will heal multiple times uh, phrase never delete data. In our case we don't want to keep something that we will never use again. Let's find our victim gym, let's say, that will have to be deleted later on, maybe this one. They put reviews like, I don't know, 150 Fs or 300 Fs, so it's visible in the terminal. Okay, let's make a few of them. Perfect. So now, if I try to see all of the reviews, Find. Okay, so we have few normal ones and then quite visible 150 Fs, okay? So our goal is to remove this from database in the moment that we are deleting the um, entire gym. And that will be done, in fact, in the Mongoose model. Okay, so on the gym schema, we have method post. If find one and delete would be triggered. Then run this function, and that function is uh, receiving document, which is entire object that is uh, found with this method. This is a very weird syntax and I'm not going to go over it. I will just write it down and explain what it does, okay? So if find one and delete was triggered, run that function. That function re receive document that is actually gym object, okay? If it's there, then remove all the reviews that underscore IDs are in this document in the review array. Okay, I'm going to save it and let's check if it works. So we have that gym, wild cave. I'm going to press delete. Mm -hmm. This one's okay. It's not here anymore. And let's see if I can find the same reviews over here. Oh, Eventually I have found out what are we missing. So we are missing a review here. We are not importing it. JS and here instead of remove we have to say it delete menu okay I'm going to save it now and I'm going to try it one more time so maybe gentle dungeon okay one and two 
Now let's check in, in the database. Okay, so we have those two reviews over here. I'm going to delete it. Okay, we get redirected to the main page. And let's find out if the reviews has been deleted from the database. Okay, we don't have no more of those reviews with 45 O's. That's it for this video. This time I am not going to spend another 5 minutes just to create the pull request and merge it to the main branch. It is the same drill as I have done in the previous parts of this tutorial, so if you want you can follow one of them. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Please leave thumbs up if you find this tutorial helpful in any way. And in the next video we are going to add session and react Toastify library just to have a nice little sliding notifications when we create the gym, update, update it, delete the gym or review and so on. Thank you for watching and see you in the next part of the tutorial.